Hello and welcome to the Unemployed to Champions League playthrough series. I'm Magubidge. We're at Bournemouth Wood and we've qualified for the playoffs with two games to go. We're not going to win the title, unfortunately, but we're in the playoffs. Since you were last with me, um, we beat uh, Maidenhead and drew with Maidstone. We then drew 4-4, was the last game you saw against Salford. Since then, we drew with Gateshead, we lost to Ebbsfleet. We've then beaten Fylde and Stockport 1-0 in both games. And the reason we've done that is because I've made a tactical switch. I've made a switch to this formation, 4-3-3 wide. And the reason that I'm playing wide is because I've got the two loanees, Stephen Kinsella on loan from the MK Dons, and I've got Longstaff, Lewis Longstaff from Luton. These two guys have made a difference in the last two games. That's what I'm going to go with. So this is going to be the team. The next two games you're going to see is the final two games of the season, which will give us our position in the playoffs. Currently, as I say, we're third. We're on 82 points. We're three points clear of Salford. We want to try and close the gap on Leighton Orient, if we can, to try and get uh, a preferable uh, draw in the playoffs. As I say, the last two games we're playing are going to be Billericay away and Dover at home. No easy games we're doing here. Billericay are 14th and Dover 8th, so it's going to be difficult. I'm going to go with the same formation. Let's get straight into the game. So the team is Ramsdale, O'Sullivan, Edubo, Edubo, Younger, Robinson, Helm, Wright, White, Longstaff, Kinsella and Pittman. Younger is a ball playing defender. Why is he that? I don't want him to do that. I just want you to be a central defender on cover. That's better. Right, so here we go. So we need a win. They're playing 4-1-2-3-1 formation. Got Jimmy Smith in the middle of the midfield. Passionate. Come on, lads. Show me what you can do. Here we go. Let's encourage these boys. We're playing positive. But I'm going to move it to attacking, I think, because we need to win. Let's go attacking. Let's see how we go. Right, we've got free kick. Pittman swings it in. Edubo with the head up, heads it just wide. Not too bad. It's the only highlight. Oh, they've got free kick. Hits the crossbar and over. Pretty non-eventful first half, apart from those last two highlights. Not really playing very well here. So, dressing room. Team talk. Assertive. I'm not happy. Get out there and play. Demand more from these players. Pittman's on a 6.4 up front. They've had much more shots than, than we have. Do we go narrow and make the change? They're in and they've scored. We're going to have to change it. Oh, dearie me. So let's change it straight away, second half. So Flatterty, you can come on for him. You're going to go there now. Tucking midfield up. So what we're going to do we take that off. We're going to go slightly shorter, tempo higher. That's what we're going to do. Confirm the change, play. Yeah, look, they pick up the ball. Ball in between the centre halves. He gets in behind. Scores, goalkeeper, no chance. We're 1-0 down, not good. I'm beginning to panic about my tactics. Right, they've got another attack, look. They've scored again. They've scored again. Make a sub. Hardy on for Pittman. And you want to be advanced forward. Oh, dear me. We're not playing well at all here. Look at this. This is woeful. Not going to finish the season well, are we? We're two down. Show some passion to these players. I've got ratings that are... 6.3, 6.5, Very attacking now. Flaherty picks it up. Kinsella inside to White. White looks out wide for O'Sullivan, who's in because Devine's got too many bookings. He's suspended. They're in behind us. Again. Saved. Shot and saved. After this highlight, I've got to change with team instructions. 
Right, we clear it. Does it come to anything? Can we win the ball back? No. No, we give a foul away. Team instructions. Out of possession. We're going to do this. We're going to drop off a little bit. Get stuck in. In transition, distribute to flanks. Counter and distribute quickly. Need to do more here. In fact, I need to do dispute to flanks. Oh dear, this is not a good performance. I might have to revert back to my diamond. Did alright the last two games, but we come to this one. We're going to be third in the league, which is not ideal. And it could be Salford we play. I'm not sure how it works. I think fifth, or sixth, and seventh play each other. I think. I'm not 100 percent certain. I have to say, right, well, this is disappointing. We've lost the game. Lost the game, and it's not good at all. Dressing room, team talk, aggressive. Right, we're going to move forward to the last game of the season, which is Dover. Here we go. This is Dover at home, the last game of the season. Going to revert back to my diamond. Um, why has he put Baldwin in there? That's not right. Oh, Evans is injured. Flatterty, Pittman. Right, what's it doing? I've done a quick pick. Look, look what he's done here. Look, Pittman. Shocking. Absolute shocking. So Baldwin's not going to play there. Diaz, right, you're going to come in and play there. Um, who can tackle better of these? Can helm tackle? Yeah, 13. So you're going to switch with him and you're going to play there. You want to be deep line playmaker, support. Right, that's fine. So that's what I'm going to do. That's the team. Ramsdale, Devine, Adoba, Younger, Robinson, Helm, White, Wright, Flatterty, Pittman and Hardy. We're going balanced. Final game of the season. We need to try and win this game. Passionate. We should be winning comfortably. Shout. Show passion. We need to finish above Salford. That's all we need to do. Try and cement third place in the league. And then if we can do that, let's see what happens with the playoffs. Which will be tomorrow's video. Adobo picks the ball up. Into White. Who plays it out to the vine here. White. Inside to right. He's looking for options. Taking his time. Helm into Hardy. Hardy comes across the pitch to Flaherty. Little dink ball over to Robinson who crosses it in. There's Pittman. His head is blocked but he scores. Scores the rebound. He's got three goals for me since he signed. He's doing alright Pittman I have to say. As a deep line forward. Look at that. Wins the head up. Reacts quickest and puts it in the back of the net. 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil to the wood after a minute. Brilliant start. That puts us 85 points behind, um, f five behind Leighton Orient. The battle for the titles between Aldershot and Leighton Orient. We're well out of it. Five points behind second place. Six points behind top of the league. But you can see in the videos where our recent form over the last two months has really cost us with drop points. I thought this game does, you know, when you think you've got it in the bag, it comes and bites you. Right, they've now got the attack. Jeffrey, ball in behind. Cross comes in, deflected, goes out for a corner. They take the corner, swing it in, back post. Can we deal with it? Yeah, we do, and we clear it. Not too bad. We're dominating, which is good. This is going to be the formation I'm going to stick with for the playoffs. Has to be. Penalty. What's the penalty for? We're given a penalty away for a reason I have no clue why. I really don't know why. Can we can we save it? No. Pike scores. It's one all. Salford are still two behind us. That's not too bad. Goalkeeper was unlucky. Right, free kick. Right takes it, swings it in, head up, hits the post, and the rebound comes off of the knee and goes away for a goal kick. Disappointing. Hardy's not doing nothing up front at the minute. Needs to be better, doesn't it? Aggressive. I'm not happy with your performance. 
Get out there. Let's go positive now, rather than balanced, and see what happens. If it makes a difference to Hardy, who's not involved currently. We've got Navarro on the bench. Oh, we've got a highlight. Let's cancel that. So Adorbo picks the ball up. Lumps the ball up, looking for Hardy, who's in behind, and he is in. Good tackle. He's tackled just as he's about to pull the trigger. Corner. What are we going to do with the corner? Wright's going to swing it in. Flatterty picks it up, edge of the box, back out to right. Waste it. Tackled. Made it easy. Right, they've now got an attack. Let's not concede now and lose another one. Right, they've got loads of time and space to come on to us. Maybe I need to adjust that for the playoffs. We're closing down. Pike picks it up, plays it out wide. They've got loads of space. Cross comes in. Oh, he's hit the post. Look at that. Hit the post, my word. I'm just going to see the game out, I think. Take the point. Salford looked like they're being beaten, so we're going to finish three points above them. Blow the whistle, ref. We'll take that and we'll regroup for the rest of this or the rest of the season for the playoffs. Yeah, disappointing. Disappointing performance, but we have finished third. So we finished third above Salford, which is good. We're the sort of best of the rest, really. Aldershot won the league from Leighton Orient. Leighton Orient are going to be the favourites. So let's just have a look here. They've won. Yeah, we've missed the chance to win. I understand that. We've got best National League finish ever. And if you look at the board, they believe I'm doing, I'm delighted. Or they're delighted with me, which is good. 800,000 in the red, though, I have to say. So let's just wait and see what happens. But we're in the playoffs. So let's just run it through. Oh, there you go. So Tranmere or Fylde will play us in the play National League playoff semi-final. So we're waiting for the winners. Let's just forward it. First stage of the National League playoffs. Playoff first round and Ebbsfleet have beaten Salford on penalties. So Salford, who finished fourth, have been knocked out. So Leighton Orient will face Ebbsfleet in this one of the semi-finals. We're waiting for Tranmere v Fylde. This could be set up for us against Leighton Orient if we get through. Let's move it forward. And there you have it. Fylde have thumped Tranmere 4-0 away to set up the semi-finals. In the next episode, you're going to see the playoff semi-final and hopefully the final. It's been a roller coaster season. It's, we've, we've done better than expected. And yeah, what a difference from last year. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all my videos as they come out every, every Monday to Friday at 6pm. Tomorrow will be the playoffs. Fingers crossed. Thank you so much for watching. See you all tomorrow for the playoffs. Oh.